I'm throw an analogy at you with the Warriors, and I want to yeah. hear from the from the fans. 888-957-9570. If you are diagnosing this, let's say this is a car that goes into the shop, okay? What's the problem? You know when you go to your mechanic, yeah. what's wrong with my car? Like that's I want to hear from people. What so, do you think the diagnostic check would tell you that's is funny. the problem with the Golden State Warriors? That's funny. Is it an oil change? Is it a flat tire? Need a new engine? Transmission? Need a new engine? Like, what is it? New shift gear? So, have you ever seen Cars, Sponte, the movie? Yeah, of course. Yeah, my brother's kids are... It's one of the few movies I've watched. It's a good movie. It is a good movie. And there we go, Lightning McQueen. Look at him. Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. It is like, it puts kids in a trance. My Mm -hmm. my brother's kids just like... Yeah. Face stuck. Cars is amazing. It's incredible. Okay, point being, in the story, if you've never seen it, Lightning McQueen is a race car. The Golden State Warriors are like a race car. A, A... prize winning race car Mm -hmm. he gets lost on his way from one challenge to the next and he gets stuck in radiator springs Mm -hmm. i feel like this whole season the golden state warriors have been stuck in radiator springs Mm -hmm. and they can't get out of it and every time i think they're gonna make their getaway something happens inside the town that lures them back in (laughs) to being in the middle of nowhere like b i feel i feel like they are just stuck in radiator springs nonstop. it's like groundhog day so with the car What do you think it is? Is it a new engine that they need? Which means, in this analogy, a new engine means you need a new roster. Is it an oil change? Which means you got to sub one player in and sub a player out or move on from a player or move some. Or what is it? Is it a flat tire? Is it a bump in the road? Do you have a nail in the tire? Do you need to pull the nail out the tire? Is it nail the road games? I don't know. If you were diagnosing, if you were (laughs) diagnosing what the number one issue is, you go, hey, you you got your new Tesla, Monte. Hey, you know, I'm the mechanic. You're asking me, Joe, what's the biggest problem with my Tesla? And I would say this right now. Attitude. Mm. The attitude of this team. The attitude of this team. What's wrong with the attitude? It's twofold. Number one. Too cool for school has been the attitude all year. What I mean is that we're too good for the regular season. We'll figure it out down the line, which they've earned some level of it. They have earned that equity. They have. They have. They have. They have. have. But also, what comes with that is you're creating more problems for yourself as you wait for the season to tick down. Your seed goes lower and lower, and you get more and more desperate. You are now creating an environment Mm. that might be too difficult to overcome. That's number one. Number two. Because of this arrogance that you have that we play ball our way and we will not allow mistakes unless you're one of the vetted, the the, the vetted superstar made men. The made Everyone men. else, I have zero tolerance right. for your mistakes. So that's on Kerr. That has and, and the other players, Draymond Green as well, that has created an environment that is not sustainable for young player growth, which they absolutely needed heading into the season to go where they needed to go. They needed not all of them, but a couple of these guys that contribute. Have they provided the soil for those trees to grow? No, it feels like two different teams. feels like there's veterans on one side. Yes. And there's youngsters on the other. And that goes back to attitude. there hasn't been any mesh point. Hasn't been any mesh point. There is an attitude there. Do it our way, do it our way, do it our way. And all of a sudden, veterans and the coach get frustrated at the youngsters, and the youngsters are like, well, I've only been in the league three years, two years, four years. I can't make a mistake. I'm watching our leader make mistakes. Did you watch- I'm watching Draymond Green brick layups. <laughs> no, stop. Okay, okay. Kaminga last night. Not a great game, but I thought it was, I was like, not his perfect game. I would have liked more rebounds. I'm, I'm with you. He was playing his ass off last night. Effort wasn't the problem. He's going to make a mistake here and there. Right. Now, and, and Shea took him to the woodshed on a couple of plays defensively. He also played brilliant defense on three different possessions where he went straight up vertical at the rim, almost got his nose broken. Mm-hmm. He actually is playing athletic basketball. He's sprinting downfield. Like, there are so many great things he's bringing to the table. Yep. I'm willing to accept a couple of mistakes here and there. Right. Yet the tolerance level of the coaching well, staff and the veterans for well, a couple of his mistakes, they drive me nuts. He's doing so many other things that are that are special. I say this. Stop worrying about the one mistake. Thank God he got to start yesterday. Because if he didn't get to start yesterday and he only played 15 minutes, he may have lost his kid for the rest of the season. I'm with you. That's what you're flirting with here. With well, the last well, Moody's done. Games. Moody is good. Moody's, Moody's in the G League. Moody's in the G League. Moody is scared to shoot the basketball. All right? He's done. Don't even count on Moody, which is disappointing as hell. It is. Some of it is on Moody. I'll put a lot of it on Steve Kerr. Moody can't play over some of these guys that we're seeing on the court? All right, fine. Whatever. (laughs) Moody's lost. It's a lost cause. Mm -hmm. Kaminga, he was lost Sunday in L.A. Playing three minutes and 25 seconds, whatever the hell it was, Sunday in L.A. They didn't play Kaminga the minutes that he played yesterday. 27 minutes, 46 seconds. 
They have a chance. They had an opportunity, or they had they were going to risk losing him for the rest of the season, going into the playoffs. This is what you need to get him ready to yeah. roll. Kevin yeah. Durant is coming. Giannis Antetokounmpo is coming. Uh, uh, Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic are coming. Bon- uh, Jokic and Bonte. Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray. You need Jonathan Kaminga because here's the other thing that nobody's talking about. And we've missed Andrew Wiggins now for a long time. <sighs> and hopefully Andrew Wiggins comes back. <sighs> but Andrew Wiggins just can't come back. He has to come back and be the Andrew Wiggins <laughs> we saw in the postseason. Oh, there's no, there's no like ramp up period. It's like you gotta to hit. The, yeah. You gotta get thrown into the deep end, and you better start swimming at an Olympian right. level. You gotta be an all star right away. Exactly. You gotta come in at an all star level. And GP two. We don't even know what GP two is gonna provide. Right now, until I see GP two on a court, it's hard for me to say that he's gonna be a contributor. Uh, that's for right now. It, he could prove me wrong. Right. Bonte yesterday they played Shai Gilgis Alexander, who was SGA is a monster, incredible. Who was the only person who could at times stay in front of him? Nobody. Kaminga. Kaminga, but he, even he had no, trouble doing it. But that's it. my point. Right. Like, so that's yeah, as nobody. we as we want to rip the youngsters, the only guy who could stay in front of him on a couple of possessions, and, and trust me, he struggled at times. Right. But the only one who was even capable of stopping him once in or a blue moon down. was Jonathan Kaminga, your twenty year old. But, but you want to treat him like he is the reason that this team is losing. That but, is hey, wrong. Hey, this is why I love SGA though. He doesn't settle for the three. No. And he goes in and gets buckets. He's got this little, like, he, oh, hezzy head. Oh, he's got the hezzy. He oh. gets it. I told you, dude, it's a good player. He's very 14 good. 14 to 24. You're right. 31, 6-6 right. six six on the season. And the most important thing, he shoots 91% from the free throw line. So SGA, as a leader, nobody thought OKC would be 31 and 34 at this point of the season. They are. They're knocking out the door to play in tournament. Good for them. I don't want to see Josh Giddy. I can't believe I'm saying that. Josh Giddy, 17.17 assists and 11 rebounds. I'll say this. Hey, Kings fans. I, Bonte Hill... Do not want to see you in the first round of the playoffs. I do not want to see the Sacramento Kings in the first round of the playoffs. I'll tell you that right now. They're not ready for Sacramento. You got to go up there to go to one. That arena is going to be like we believe back in 07. They're going to be roaring. And with the latest team is playing defense, and the way Fox closes games, I want nothing to do with Sacramento right now. Let's go to the hotline. And, and, and yeah. also, one last thing. Steph Curry turned the ball over a zillion times down the stretch and played Six a little times. too much hero ball for me. He was great yesterday. The numbers look good. I'm just saying, like he, he, he we got it. We got to call it what it is. Like I love Steph. He's an all time right. warrior. He could do no wrong. But yesterday he had a, he had a rough game down the stretch. Kept him in it though. I, I, he kept him in it. hundred percent agree. He almost, he almost had a crazy agree. rally down the stretch. I, it sounds sacrilegious <laughs> to even critique him, but I'm just no, saying. I mean, he gets. They all deserve it. They all can't say in front of their bed. No, they're all food on defense. They're all food. Steph Curry, the second half, though, 26 points, 9 to 17 from the floor, 6 of 11 from the three point line. Clay tosses three shot attempts, all from three. He makes two of them, six points, two rebounds. Mm mm mm. Kaminga, 15 points in the second half. How about that? <laughs> Gave up 137 Bonte. points. Okay, so 9 2 5. They're the smart kids in high school who don't do their homework, uh, but they feel like they have to get the A on the final. Then they get stressed out and make excuses. Mm. It's an interesting analogy. I like that. How about this? Draymond Green. No rebounds in the second half. <laughs> no rebounds for Draymond Green in the second half. Bat, bat line. Bat line. Pops. Hey, hey good morning, fellas. What's How up, you guys Pops? doing today? Oh, man. Now, hey, I, Dad. I, I, I could be better, Pops. A little frustrated. Are you, aren't you in the, the free state of Florida, quote unquote? We are. We are. We're, we're driving down to Key West. I had to give you a shout out. It's only 82 degrees. It's beautiful <laughs> out. Sunny. Not a cloud in the sky. Damn. Loving life. Hey, um, I just just one quick word about the Warriors, and we'll get off this touch. It just seems like the the team itself puts too much pressure on Curry to do everything, right? And where everybody seems like when they're when he's not playing, they're playing a team game. When he comes back, they seem they they want to rely on Curry to bail them out and defensively and mm. offensively without without making any stops. It's just frustrating. I know. I'm with you. What about Draymond not you know stopping in the middle of the play? What do you think of that? Are you sick of Dre? We, I, you know what? I couldn't watch the game last night. I just saw, I just saw highlights. But when Curry scores forty, you think they're going to win, right? But you can't when you give up one hundred thirty-seven points, right? I mean, how can you go from keeping teams from one hundred to one hundred ten the last ten days? Now you're going to give up one hundred thirty-seven when Curry comes back? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. No, it doesn't make any sense. How's Noreen doing? And where's she at right now, oh, Pops? We, we got you. I got you on speaker. I got <laughs> oh, Marianne. Hey. And Noreen on speaker. Marianne and Noreen. Oh. Good morning. Or, the Bolognas. Yeah, yeah, the Bolognas. Oh, yeah. wow, the Bolognas. Hey, I got beef with the Bolognas. You made Papa Shasky watch a Cowboy game at your house. It was almost oh. a loss, so I still got beef with you guys. <laughs> yeah, well, I just want to give you guys a shout-out. 
We're just living a life. We're heading down to Key West. Just living I a hate life. You. Give you guys a little shout yeah, out. Yeah, as we drive in, and it's an atmospheric river going on here in the Bay Area. I love you guys. Have fun. Hit him straight on the golf course. And tell John I will see him in San Bruno Little League Baseball at some point this year. All right, you got it, brother. You guys have a great day. Bye, Doreen. <laughs> Bye, Mom. <laughs>